there's bond numbers all over here, QCIP numbers, uh, bank numbers. You've been monetized, you've been enslaved by the birth certificate. It is a death certificate. Please go to the registry and get yourself, acquire a live birth record because that will bring you out of their jurisdiction into the land of the living, which the judge refused to take off me today. You're the ones that work with the corporations to tell people lies that uh, tolls are somehow benefiting uh, the government for infrastructure. Well, you know who uh, benefits from tolls? The Salteri family are the only arseholes who make any money from the tolls. It's a private corporation owned by Tenix. Tenix, the Salteri family, a criminal mafia family. And these bastards are working for them. And the cops and the sheriffs and all the arseholes that work for this fictional fiat currency system. And it's going to come a crashing down, that's for sure. Do you think you better tell the truth. Do you think that argument's going to get you off uh, the south? I'm not going to argue that. I've been divulging this on the internet on uh, Mr. Astro Theology YouTube site for about three years. So I'm already um, going to destroy this corruption because we are human beings, men and women. We are free. We are not subject to this Vatican death. This is death, death certificate. This is a bond, a security. We've been securitized and monetized, and you have too, and you're part of the fraud. And so is Channel 7 telling bullshit to the world. Do you think I'm going to get any of this on, on air? I don't think so. It'll be edited because you guys are liars. And you work with the Rothschilds and the Windsors who own the Reserve Bank, who owns the legal tender, which has enslaved us. I'm going to teach Australians how to make promissory notes. Promissory notes to pay with their own sovereignty and to pay with their own bonds. This is a bond, folks. The banksters are making billions off your blood and sweat. And we're coming in here. Look at all the people. Look at all these poor people working for fictional fiat currency legal tender. Barristers, morons, arseholes that come here to steal people's money. Murderers. Most Murderers. Uh, normal people would just uh, say, that, you know, you should pay your fines like everyone else. Yeah, because most people are so fucking dumbed down. They are dunces. That's where, you, that's where your tolls are going, brother. Do you realise that? Do you, you realise that toll money does not go for infra infrastructure at all? Most, most people pay their um, tolls because they fear going to jail. Do you fear going to jail for, for this today? I'm a man. Who's the, whoever, if they want someone to go to jail, they can put this, this person to jail. This is a person. This is a man. Men don't go to jail. I'm not surety for their paperwork. But do you think that legal argument is going to... It's avoid? not a legal argument. It's lawful. It's the law. And it's time for wakey-wakey in this world because that's why wars are being generated all over the place to support this bullshit. It's a crock of shit, the whole system. It's Vatican system owned. You have been enslaved. Everyone who has a birth certificate has been enslaved. Everyone has been enslaved by their birth certificate bonds. This is a death certificate folks what you need to do is be wise and go and go to the registry and get yourself one of these there you go a live birth record stating that Santo Bonacci is living not a stillborn let's see what they do with a living man wake up folks it's time to be living time to be in the land of the living not in the land of the dead we have the power to make money. What we have done is we have deferred this to the banks, i.e. one bank, the Reserve Bank. The Reserve Bank has no reserves. It's not a bank. It is a fraudulent corporation operating in this country, owned, owned by the Rothschilds and the Windsors and the Rockefellers. And they are the only ones benefiting from us using and paying with cash. How you pay is you discharge against your bond. Your birth certificate is a bond. You have more value in here than any fine that they can give you in any court under the sun. This is your value. It's your life. They stole this from you. When you were born, you were issued one of these. This is a birth certificate. It should be called a death certificate. How you pay is with promissory notes. Bucko 5 negotiable instruments. 
not with cash. We have to stop using federal reserve notes or reserve bank notes. They are owned by criminals, i.e. the Windsors, a criminal family, and the Rothschilds, another criminal family. I'm paying it this afternoon with a promissory note. You're going to pay $130,000 this afternoon? Yeah, absolutely. There, there won't be another court date. There won't be any other hearings. It will be paid the honourable way. In fact, it's not even honourable because uh, I feel that I'm committing fraud by doing it anyway because um, I shouldn't be co uh, cooperating at all with this filthy, dirty commercial system. You and I have been monetised, brother. You have been monetised through that instrument. You are money in the eyes of banksters. You know the banks pay $6 million for these from the uh, hospitals, and you know how much they get turned around? These are securities on the stock market. You're making $6 billion by the time you retire for the Rothschilds, mate. They've got plenty of gold taps and, and uh, champagne and caviar and cigars in their mansions, while uh, a good portion of humanity are starving to death and wars that the Rothschilds are perpetrating on the planet. All those wars, Syria, Afghanistan, Libya. There's only one family in this country that benefits from tollways, and that's the Sal Terry family. One criminal mafia family that gets all the benefits. None of that goes to paying taxes or for infrastructure. He's the police officer who is causing members of my family a lot of trouble because he's he is milking their bonds. We all have a bond. Our birth certificate is a securitised bond. We are stock and bonds on the stock market, run by the Vatican. Vatican's got please enlighten yourselves. We must bring this fraud down by consciousness, by love and exposure. Because we are run, this world is run and controlled by psychopaths. And most of them are pedophiles. And you, you wonder where your little kids are disappearing to? You're, you're wondering where the little kids are disappearing to? Friends, they are disappearing to the most powerful people on this planet. They are psychopaths. Right, thank you so much. Cheers. Okay, so we can start. Uh, today, uh, we have, uh, uh, this is my big pleasure, we have Santos Bonacci with another very interesting uh, subject, which is the uh, common law uh, natural law uh, and all people need to know that we live in dual dual worlds and uh, the same like in astrology uh, it, there is a, a dark side there is also a light day and night and also we see dualism in the, in the, in the law in a worldwide law so the we don't really know which which law to follow and uh, i hope we explain a bit uh, with Santos today uh, a history of, of some words, etymology, which is very important and some people can understand why history and etymology of some words are very important to, 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 see, to, to see the differences today in our life. Hello, Santos. Nice to meet you. Hey, brother. How are mm. you? Very good, thanks. And you? Right. Very well, thank you. And also, we can mention some <clears throat> uh, some documents between uh, uh, Vatican and and some uh, countries, which is con con concord that what this mean and etymology of 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 some hidden words, some hidden meaning in this word, uh, and and maybe this will explain a bit uh, uh, contracts, what uh, corporation wants to contract with all of us to be a, a slave today. Uh, pretty much zombie, probably, <clears throat> isn't it, uh, Santos? Just that that body, which is zombie, which is not the human being, living human being, is just just opposite because this is like a person persona, which is mask, second person. Uh, so that means that <clears throat> they treat us as a somebody, somebody else. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this concordant uh, with your country mm -hmm. and, and, and the Vatican, <clears throat> this concordant is um, a law that is inferior to your national sovereign law. And the um, 
system you are now under is called Unidroit. Unidroit is registered in Rome with the Vatican. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> this is now you are being administered by maritime and admiralty law. Maritime law looks after ships, all the ships on the sea. Mm. So you've got London over here and over here you have Australia. And when, when they, the English came here and set up their uh, corporate enterprise, and um, <clears throat> what they brought was a new law. This, this identifies the law. You see, the, way, the flag identifies the flag of another country. Mm -hmm. And this is mm, admiralty, this now. Now there is an admiral who is looking after this territory. You see, so maritime law, which comes from Mary, the harlot in Revelation who sits on many waters. Uh -huh. This is maritime law, and it governs all the ships on the seas, marine, maritime, maritime law. So this word Mary has the double meaning or just meaning of the water, sea, and uh, another meaning also. Well, that's Mary. The and Mary is the pure virgin, but on the other hand, it's the harlot who sits on many waters, because the harlot is the Vatican, because the the Vatican signs concordance mm -hmm. with other countries like your country to take you out of the law of the land. and to put you in the law of the sea. S double E. Admiralty law is the law for the boat, for the ships. This is the law on the ships. So now maritime, which rules all the ships on the ocean, mm -hmm. now have this law here as the law on the ship. And ship comes from warship, you see? Yeah. Backwards here, right. Mary. Mary is Mars. God of uh, wars. Mars. Huh? God of war or fight, yeah, this is the kind of analogy. Mm -hmm. the, the eagle, the insignia of the eagle of Rome is the same as the eagle of the United States Corporation, the military, Mars, martial law. Mm -hmm. Maritime is also martial law. It's a war on the seas. Mm -hmm. so, so Mars is the god of war. War, water, war, water, same thing. So they make a warship to go over mm -hmm. to bring admiralty law because now admiralty law applies to this land. 
because now this is a ship because they make citizenships. We will see uh, in the near future all the ships uh, in the world, meaning this, this ship uh, connected with, with, with sea. And uh, in Australia, the, the, the Aborigines, uh, they had the natural, just natural law. And so now this, uh, this law is against, it was against the Aborigines. That's why it was many, many uh, disasters and, and murders of destroying the culture of, of uh, <coughs> native, native oh. Aborigines. Yeah, it's, um, see, they, they did, this is not a treaty. No treaty was signed here. Admiralty law came over the law of the ship because this is now a ship, okay? Uh, where people have a citizenship because when you go over in your boat, you have, citizens in the warship and see the admiral he sets up a, a judiciary and they call him your worship so when you go into the docks in a court you're going on to a ship because you are a citizen in the ship and so you have to enter in into and get on board a ship into the jurisdiction of the flag that's in the court, which is the Admiralty flag. It has a gold trim around the edge. That means that means it's Admiralty law. It's the law that governs the ships of the seas. And we have been turned into vessels of trading and commerce through our birth certificate bond, which is a citizenship. Now, what's happened is when you go to court, you're in a boat in control by maritime martial law. And you are a belligerent and a hostile now. And directly in control of Admiralty Administration Receivership Law. So now, originally you were born over here on the land and you have a name. <coughs> and my name is Santo, my parents, my father named me since I was the firstborn after his father, Santo Bonacci. Bonacci is a family name. Yeah. But they call it a surname. Sir is the same as sir. It's a title. See, what they do is they turn this into an office, an office of the Inquisition, because through this Admiralty law, the pirates are doing business illegally on stolen land. And they have brought through Admiralty um, financial debt law, they have brought the Inquisition from over here. Rome, Mary, Mars, the Eagle of Rome is the mm -hmm. Eagle of the Congress of the United States Corporation, 1871. So now you are Mr. Mr. is a title. This is a title. This is a title. I am not Mr. Santo with a surname, Sir Bonacci. These two, these belong to the Vatican. These are titles. And they will bring you onto this ship through this
all caps, corps, corporate name. This is a decapitation, dead man, corpse. Corpse, yeah. So since the Vatican does not have any claim over your given Christian name, nor does it have any claim on your family name, it joins the two through this device. Now, this is on the ship because this is a citizenship. They, they have copyrighted this version. Yes. Just a version of the name. They've, here is a sir, a title. Here is now a mister because they also do this. So sometimes <clears throat> it's very often the police uh, stop somebody on the street and uh, they're talking to to lady and, and the woman and man they calling sir. Uh, I was surprised because for me it's a uh, sir. Uh, it had a conjugation of, of uh, energy of man, uh, male uh, no. energy, but they calling them both uh, sir. So that was very surprising. Yeah, which, is, yeah. which is good. You need to call the policeman sir because sir is the the lowest of the servants. Surety. No, the Surety. police. The police call sir uh, to to somebody. They stop the lady or, or man. The police call them uh, sir. Doesn't yes. matter if it's woman or man. No. Yes, I know because they are calling them sir because they are in service. Yes, yeah. they are in servitude. So they are saying, sir, you, you should be calling the policeman sir. We, yeah. we need to call the policeman sir because sir is they are serving us. They need to be in service to us. Who are yeah. free men? Yeah. Not what, them calling us, sir. Do not accept from a policeman to call you, sir, sir. because yeah. by doing so, you are accepting a surname, and you will be surety. You will go sure for someone else's debt, and the Bible says, "Do not go surety for someone else's debt." Okay, so <clears throat> what they've done is they've joined this together. You see, this is my full lawful name and it's my Christian name. Christ is the savior of this name because it's on the land. This one here cannot save this is the dead name it's a corpse this capitus diminutia maxima capital letter uh, is written capital diminutia maxima this is dead it's tombstone um, script it's symbolic script this is descriptive script now at this point I want to um, exp um, mention someone who I have uh, received a lot of this information from, and it's Romley Stewart, the Glosser Channel on YouTube. Please have a look at Romley Stewart and Rowan Lorian, yeah. and they are the ones leading right now in this knowledge i'm doing my best to try and share with my understanding of the system and what i've learned from them already i've shared about 10 I put, points I put some links under mm -hmm. that i got from romley okay mm -hmm. now the capita if you can explain us a bit what what, what it's mean capita uh, connection the capital letters uh, captain uh, the cap uh, root of of the world Capita is the head. Decapitate means take off the head. This is decapitated. It's dead. Yeah. Because this is 
sign language. It, this is not language. It's not descriptive text. This is descriptive text. This describes a living man breathing on the land. This yeah. one here is a citizenship, citizenship on the ship, on the warship against God. Because if you do not call on the name of Christ, this is the Christian name. In my name, you shall be saved, says the Christ. That's this name, the lawful name. Okay. okay yes. so this is my full and lawful given or Christian name. This is a, this is a pagan's name. Okay, pagan means a country citizen. And those people that lived in the country, they weren't cultured like the ones who lived in the city. Uh, uh, you, said, <clears throat> you said very important now thing, because uh, our Slavic uh, culture in the past, uh, the, the, the church called pagans, yeah? Uh, because they pay against uh, is bar barbers and vandals because they destroy the destroying and fighting and uh, and the pagan is something against uh, what they believe uh, what do you think why, why is this word pagans is it is it it has some meaning for vatican yes well the true meaning in etymology is country people okay mm -hmm. people who are not in contact with the latest information hence they are pagan they are considered dead some of them because some of these country people um uh were were probably very uneducated mm -hmm. um and whereas others were very intelligent but they were ostracized because they were not in the state club okay mm -hmm. so the connotation now is that a pagan is dead they have made them dead and through the papal bull intercateria by uh, a borgia renaissance pope called um alessandro borgia and he became no he became uh, alexander the sixth who carved up the americas straight down the middle this half to portugal brazil that half Spain and the Farnese's and the Orsini's and all of these conquistador families who left the shores of Europe to set up plantations and citizen ships. You see? So um, pagan is now pay again. Okay? So a pagan means to pay again. This one does not pay because he's on the land. He's on God's, he has God's name, a Christian name. Yeah. <clears throat> he is saved by the name of the Christ. In this name, you shall be saved in my name. He that calls on the name of the, on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If we join these two names, this one, now this, this is this version of this name. This is crown copyright. Crown is Kronos, Kronos is Saturn, Saturn is Satan. Those men in black for the yeah. bar, yeah. Ra Banim, the sons of Ra, the judges, so called, of the star chambers of Satan, they are the Inquisition. And they work for Kronos, Crown Copyright. This name, when you use it, you get benefits from the citizenship, slavery, you get services, you get privileges, but you lose your rights. Yeah, but all the taxes, uh, anyway, they're coming back to the source. People paying taxes, they get privilege, but they paying, they paying uh, the money instead of uh, just coming back to, to, the, to the source, the main source. So it's like a cycle. And then we did mention sometimes that the, cap, uh, the, the, the judge in the court it looks like captain on the, on the boat. Yeah? Even today, uh, we can see that uh, we don't know if we, we're watching uh, uh, 
pirates from Caribbean or because the judge here has a special look. It looks like uh, on the boat, actually. Yeah, yeah, because those pirates, they weren't just angry men who wanted to get rich. They were the Rothschilds, the Windsors, the Orsini, the Borgia, um, the Colonna family who became the Columbus family who now are the Knights of Columbus in Washington DC, District of Columbia. They run the plantation of Columbia, uh, Columbia Pictures, yeah. British Columbia, the nation of Columbia, which is the most corrupt because the family of Columbus, Colonna from Genova, Italy, yeah. the mafia, run these and they do it by debt. Here, they, they run a salvage business where they salvage what is lost at sea. Here, they run a salvage business saving your soul when you are lost at sea, the Holy Sea, the Roman Curia. Mm -hmm. And so this is the Inquisition. This is ecclesiastical law. Mary, the Virgin Mary. This is our mother who art in heaven. This is ecclesiastical. It's religious. It's the Inquisition. And it's martial. You see, Mars... <laughs> Mars is ran backwards. Yeah. Aries. Sorry. Aries, yes, Aries. Mars is ran backwards. So that's Aries, the god of war. And that's, of course, Mars. And you see there, what you have here is also an anagram of arm and army, which becomes an anagram of Mary. This is why Rome is all about Mars. M Rome is made of marble. Mm. Rome is marvelous. Marvelous comes is rooted in Mars. Mars, um, <clears throat> it is the um, um, national. It's the national god of 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 Rome. Ro and Ma and Rome has created maritime law, martial law, through this device of controlling all the ships on the sea. I don't know. I remember that the Roman soldier, they had the same the color of Mars uh, uh, when they were wearing some ornaments. So, so the, the, the color of Mars was the dominate, dominated color. Um, yeah, look, I'll just show you another few more words about Mars while we're on here because I just had a, a good thought about this because you understand which... Um, when you see uh, an, an eagle, uh, yes, yes, eagle, whenever you see an eagle, you're seeing a symbol of war, Mars, because that's Scorpio. The that's eagle right. is the zodiacal sign of <clears throat> Scorpio, and the Scorpios are the best fighters. They are warlike. Yeah, they're always in front of any army. Yeah? But the, the Alexander the Great, they, he knew that uh, to put the Scorpios as a frontman. Scorpio and yes. Aries, yeah? Yes, because they don't back down. They are ruled by the planet Mars. So the eagle is denoting war, martial law. Wherever you see the eagle, <coughs> Rome and DC, this is, this is the war. This is maritime law. <coughs> you mentioned sometimes uh, Cairo. In Egypt, it has a connection with the name Mars as well, because in Star Egyptian, I heard that Cairo it's Mars. The meaning, this is the same meaning. Yeah, well, um, Cairo is this. See this flag? That that's the raw. 
the letter P. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Just, and, and, mm -hmm. and this is the Christ, the sun, going from summer solstice, June 21st, to winter solstice, December 21st. And this is the equinoxes. And when the, the sun is doing this, that's the Kiro. It's the sun, but it's also Mars. Oh. Cairo. Cairo. Yeah. Okay, so Mars makes martyrs. Mars is, is the symbol, one of the symbols of Rome is the hammer, which is martello. The hammer is the instrument of Mars through the martello, mar. Mm -hmm. Ma Rome is where the system of marriage certificates comes from. Mars, marriage. In Italian, husband. Can you see that? Uh, a bit, a bit, you could put the camera a bit lower, Santos. Oh, no, that's fine. Now it's perfect. Is that it? Yeah. Marito. Husband. Husband, oh. And, and Ma Adin, Ma Adin is how you say Mars in Hebrew. Oh, sorry, how you say Adam. Adam, Adam. In Hebrew. This is a male energy, yeah? That, that symbolizes male energy, uh, which is uh, against Venus. I mean, opposite Venus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Mars... Mars also is responsible for the worldwide stock market. Oh. All, all, Rome, Mars, by virtue of this active principle of harm, harming others through their martial army of maritime law where they administer souls lost at sea and so heretics so they go when uh, alexander the sixth um, signed a concordant with um, christopher columbus in 19 uh, in 1494 mm -hmm. he basically um mm -hmm. uh, signed up the americas so they could take the land and they um overtook the land and all the ships were controlled by this since Rome became the queen of the, um, the seas when they defeated Carthage. And from then on, this is the law which controlled all the ships and this is the law which controlled um, the law on the ships, which these have become ships and so have the people on the 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 na countries see a country is a ship a nation is a land this is a nation because it's natural and natives are born in a nation right but a country this is a this is a country yeah this is it's a foreign country and so what they have to do is they have to get you off the land and out of the power of God, and you don't call on the name of the Christ, which is your Christian name, and they will put you into the ship, and they will do harm to you through this uh, martial system. And so you see, um, this is how... Uh, <clears throat> The harlot that sits on many waters is able to control um, so much of the world because nations like Poland yeah. have signed a concordant yeah. In with the land, hmm? which, which now makes Poland a registered corporation on the securities ex, um, exchange commission in, New, in uh, Wall Street, and now Poland will be administered, administered 
from Wall Street. And you've got to remember what Wall Street Street did on the 25th of October, 100 years ago, the Bolshevik revolution where 160 million Russians, yes. Christian yes. Russians, were put to death by Wall Street, Khazarian, uh, Shabbatayan, Jewish, Wall Street, Vatican Jesuit, Bolshevik revolution. And now, in a few weeks' time, we're coming up to the anniversary of the Bolshevik revolution. <clears throat> and, when, and when Anastasia was assassinated with all the Romanovs. Mm -hmm. And you can rest assured that the same families that were responsible for the Bolshevik revolution, the uh, Orsinis, mm -hmm. uh, the Farnesis, uh, Borgia, Pallavicini. Pallavicini run Islam. They have created and controlled Islam from the inception. Allah vicini, Allah vicini, close to Allah. Of course, they're telling you. The Medici's, they are running the medicine, big pharma, oh. killing people. Yeah. They're pirates. And because people use this name here and they don't know who they are, they don't know, yeah. They are poisoned. So the symbol of pirate's flag, uh, it's a skull and bones. Do you think it's a connection to? Uh, symbol of Nazi uh, who were on the head, uh, the same symbol, uh, skull and bones, and also uh, Illuminati or Masonic symbol, uh, 30, 33rd degree, the highest uh, Masonic symbol, uh, also it's symbolized by skull and bones. Yes, well, again, it's a corporate logo, it's a Jesuit logo, it's the, it's the symbol of death, yeah? So they have a uh, uh, you know, they have, again, the cross, you know, it's, it's, it's death. It's so death. It's saying, if you do business with these people, you can expect to do business with the devil. You will, you will lose your soul. This is, yeah. this is soulless because this is a, um, a pagan name. Pay again. Pay again. <laughs> Thank you, Romley. So this this is um, this is the ledger. This is the creditor. You see, this is why you'll be saved because you won't have debts. That's why the Christian name will save you. The same in Poland was in the past when the Slavic people didn't have a, a sad name. They had a like use Santo come from village or place this and this or son of this man. This is this guy, yeah? But, but no sad name. The sad name is the last 400 years, uh, actually, in the documents. Uh, but it, in, in the past, it, it, uh, before uh, Christianity, or in the beginning of, even of Christianity, it wasn't the sad names. But, <clears throat> but uh, of course, we lose uh, this native, uh, what we were in our land, and, uh, and contracted, and everything is contract now. As a concord, that it also, uh, the, the etymology, it, it, uh, I see conquest. Do you think Santos conquest? It's, it's in this world. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. So, uh, when a policeman, for instance, when a, a policeman approaches you and asks you for your name, he always wants your surname and address and these details because he's, he's wanting to contract with you. Are you prepared to use this crown copyright name that belongs to Kronos Satan? Um, do you want to negotiate with this name? And, and because you uh, um, ignorantly uh, transact through this vessel, this ship, now you are in water, maritime water. And it's interesting because Romney Stewart explains the word sign when you sign. Hear your autograph, yes. hear you sign. To sign is to sin. I've, say, I've said this in one of my presentations four years ago, a presentation I published called Sin and Salvation, where I explained that to sign your name is to sin. 
because of the silent G, you see. This is the serpent in the garden. Mm -hmm. This is you, I. This is God. So there's three, there's the serpent in the garden, there's you and there's God. That's all that matters. And this is the N here is for nature. Um, nautical water. Um, in Latin languages, nuotare, nadar, means to swim. Um, here is the the uh, the Hebrew word for um, water is nun. The letter N means water, and it means nun. A uh, fish, mm -hmm. fish, fish. But um, M, uh, mem means water. So you've got fish and water, okay? So nautical, this, Romley says, this is the pillar of water mm -hmm. and this is the pillar of land. And so you've got the law of the seas and the law of the land and they're joined together when you sign. Uh -huh. You see? So when you sign a contract, you're, you're, you are sinning. Because the serpent, you and God, are now transacting with commercial law. And you're mixing the law of the land with the law of the sea. Because, see, both of these, both of these are your name. Uh, my, this, these, these, this Christian name... And this family name, they're both your names. This is your family's names and this is your name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> for me, I only have, I was given this name, given. This is my given name. That means it's my full lawful name. I don't have to use this. I do not have to use my, under the constitution, I do not have to use a surname, nor do I have to use a family name. My full given name is Santo. Okay, so the same. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, Santos. So the same uh, we didn't mention about the uh, two different law, the the the, the corporate law, which is the C, um, and the common law. Uh, we can compare to the driver traveler. Uh, so the in corporate law there is a driver. Uh, the, the police stop and always ask you, uh, tell you, call you the driver and. We have the traveler, which is the natural law that we can travel anywhere where we want. So this is kind of game that they play with us also. Uh, and we can accept it or not accept it. Yeah? But most of the people don't know this, so they agree to play in this corporate game. Because the driver, of course, he has an obligation because he has a registration. Uh, but the traveler doesn't need to have registration. He can travel anywhere he wants. There is no law yeah. to stop him. This, this name is the driver. Yes. And this name here, this living man breathing, he is the traveler. Traveler, yeah. So, so unless you are being paid to drove the sheep on the Roman roads, because anyone who was making commerce on Roman roads, they had to pay tax. That's fair enough. Yeah. Those are good roads. But if you're going to travel to see um, a friend in another town and there's a Roman, beautiful Roman road in between and you're just traveling, you're not making money, well, then you're traveling and you're not making a profit unless it can be proven that you are doing commerce. Yeah. You can be taken to, to court. And if they prove that you are guilty, that you're doing commerce, well then you will have to pay. But if you're not doing commerce and driving your sheep driving, then you are traveling. So you have to ask the right questions before you get into contract with the policeman, because the policeman will say many things to get you into contract. Hello, sir. 
Do you realize you were driving over the limit? <laughs> well, see, that's if you answer to that, you're in trouble. Yes, because, because that's a big contract. That's a very loaded sentence. He accepts the contract. Yeah. Firstly, hello, sir. You are the bottom servant and you're in service in the military. You're belligerent. If you accept that title, then you accept what he asks. Do you realize another suggestion to come into contract now that you were driving commercially? Commercially, yeah. Over the limit, and the limit is a code which belongs to the commercial system. It's not applicable to travelers. You see, so you're not being paid. And so you don't answer because if you answer, you're sweating, yeah. <laughs> If you answer, you are swearing. But if you ask, you are the king. This is why the policeman who is a representative of the king, the crown, the king wears a crown. <laughs> he works for the crown. So he must be a constable or one sent forth by the crown. And that's why he's asking questions. He's not answering any of yours. Hello, sir. I stopped you to help you with any questions you have today. How can I help you? Sir, I'm in service to you. So he that swears is swearing against God. Swearing means answering. It's the same word. Yeah. And so you have to pr assume the role as king. Otherwise, because the king has rights, he's the sovereign. Okay. The one swearing, answering, is a citizenship because he's in service. We've been conscripted through this military marshal name. We've been conscripted. And so in court, when you get on the ship and you go into court, you best not be belligerent. And you want to plead guilty to the facts because if you plead not guilty, they get a lot more business because they thrive on your not guilty plea because now you're belligerent. Yeah. And, and you're look, in certain... Look, Santos, how many times in the, in the court... Uh, the judge asks you, do you understand? And you need to answer, understand. I am under you, yeah, which is I am under, understand. Standing under you, which is, uh, which is agreement actually to, uh, to, that you're accepting all this contract now in the court. And the court, and the, and the judge looks like, of course, captain of the, of the ship. Uh, and uh, as you saw, probably three men on the land, uh, that is very common that, uh, when the judge leave for the minute or a few minutes uh, to consultate. So they are saying some sentence that uh, the, the captain leave the boat. So now he, he's free. Yeah. He's the captain now. Mm. <laughs> and they don't know, do nothing. They, they, they exactly know what is happening in this corporate law and, and common law. So this is fascinating. And on, some, some people even do all rights reserved for the name. So they're using this uh, all rights reserved uh, for, for own name. So they, uh, they're asking for, for money if, if the judge uh, repeat their name. So to try to play the same game uh, as they playing. This is only game, but this is actually, uh, this is a typical example of how important is knowledge. If, if we don't know something, we just, automatically agree this. If we agree, we are in this game. And uh, uh, this, is, this, this knowledge actually can uh, uh, make us free and uh, makes our uh, 
society much stronger to understand this word, etymology of words, which is some people doesn't doesn't uh, think how how important it's etymology of of some words in this yeah. in this corporate law actually, especially that now. You mentioned signature, yeah. which is the sick, and the nature is is a cap, capitula, uh, capital, um, uh, cap, captain, CAP, which is the almost Rahu in the Vedic astrology, which is only head <laughs> or body without the head. So it's a yeah. Dead body, yeah? That, yeah so hmm? so yeah. in that system, you are already considered to be belligerent. So you plead guilty to the facts. <clears throat> you don't plead not guilty. Many people get into more trouble when they plead not guilty because they are belligerent. Now they are using this name in belligerence. And so the judge has to make a trust, a constructive trust now, because this guy is lost at sea. You see, and they've got a salvage business. Yes. Where they are salvaging people lost at sea. This one is debt to the father. Hence, they write indulgences from the Inquisition. And these ones are saving you in financial debt. You now are a debtor through the birth certificate bond since 1933. And you are now in debt servitude. To, and, and so all of this, this makes you a belligerent, a hostile, Mars martial law, maritime law. This makes you a renegade, a infidel, a heretic. Heretic, yeah. If you turn yeah. against them, you are a heretic or pagan. Yeah, well, because you've turned your back on, on, on Christ, your Christian uh -huh. name, and you're using a corporate crown copyright name now you've joined these two together you've become a mr santo surname bonacci service surety name mm -hmm. for their bank bonds the banks over here the bank bench. and so yeah and so uh because you've turned your back on this name you have no Lord. They are now the, the Lord because they are running the God business and, and the, uh, the debt to God that we have since from the Garden of Eden. And so they've created these vessels here to administer admiralty, administration means receivership, debt, bankruptcy, yeah. bankruptcy law. And so you have at the very back of everything is ecclesiastical law, Mary, canon law. Here we have common law because these are common people and what they do commonly and what they do through um, custom is in their law records. So this is, their rights, their land, that's what they practice. Unless they contract with this person, the Crown Copyright corporate person, they don't have to be salvaged. So the ecclesiastical law, that's right at the back. And then there's martial law, Mars, the marble of Rome, the marvel of Rome, the Rome, the marvel that was Rome. And then on top of that is a financial debt system. So the ecclesiastical system makes you a heretic. The martial makes you belligerent hostile. The final financial layer makes you debt servitude financially and so you are a debtor 
dead and you have your you're using the dead the death ledger because this is a a ledger credit debit debt creditor debtor and this is a ledger and we've been using this account and see this is where this is the fruit of good and evil of knowledge this is the tree of life because this is living see yeah. god said in the day that you eat of the fruit of knowledge the knowledge of debt you will positively die the moment you assume this name and take it up you die you see that's why that's why the the persona uh, from latin language mean mask and we call uh, today person yeah which is not yes. uh, not living being yes so so we should be eating from the tree of life you see instead of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil or the tree of uh, knowledge it's the knowledge of being um a debtor to pay again the pagan account the christian account see these accounts exist there but that's why every let capital letters are important when we receiving the documents from the court or from government we all the always we can see the capital letters uh written our surname name and surname yes well there's capita diminutia maxima capitas diminutia um media and capitas diminutia minima that's that's minima that's media middle mm -hmm. loss of status and this is maximum loss of status so this one here that's capitas diminutia minima and this one has the most rights uh -huh. this one media this one has lost a lot of rights but this one here capital letter yeah lower case all capital letters that's that belongs to the devil mm -hmm. that is crown chronos satan's property so we can see also the color of the passport uh, all over the world is uh, different colors it's not many but it's a red blue uh, green Mm, I think it's three or four, and I, I don't know if you heard about this. This 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 is some meaning in uh, hidden in this passport color. The red and blue, red, blue, green, and black. I think. Well, mm. again, it's all the trinity of colors: red, white, and blue. White is the source of all colors. And red is the the first to refract, redshift, followed immediately by second color, its opposite and equal, blue shift, and red and blue, red siren, blue siren, red shift, blue shift, red pill, blue pill, red blood, blue blood, roses are red, violets are blue, Republicans are red, Democrats are blue, etc., etc red hot tap blue cold tap these the red pink that you put for your little girl and the blue that you put for your little baby boy this has these, a meaning yeah 
Yeah. And so electricity, red shift, blue shift. Uh -huh. this, and you you mentioned last year about the color of the flag, uh, Australia, United States, UK, uh, all this color that is almost the same, Fran France. Yeah, because it's the transverse Hertzian wave, electricity, vibration. Do you, do you think this letter P equinoxes uh, in Vatican, this, this, we can talk more, uh, is it important? Or what is the most important to understand the Concordat? Uh, that would be very uh, fascinating subject. Uh, the conquest, um, Concordat. Well, all right, well look, see, canon law, that's Vatican. Vatican. See, they rule Australia in mm -hmm. Canberra. Berra, that's bra. See, Canberra, can is Cohen. Con, concordant. To con someone, mm -hmm. the priest. So, Vaticanan law is ecclesiastical. See, the judge in the ship is called an ordinary. An ordinary is a minister of the Inquisition. And next to him, he has a cleric, a clerk. Clerk. Yeah. The Inquisition. So, you see, this is all military because everything is a general. The governor general, the surgeon general who runs the military hospitals. Why is the boss of every hospital when you get discharged from hospital at the doctor's orders? Why, why is a general running a, a hospital? Because it's military, it's martial. Oh. Why do you have an attorney general? Okay. And Why do you have the minister of finance? Because the minister ministries are ecclesiastical. Minister of defense, minister of defense. <laughs> What's the minister doing from the Vatican? giving canon law in Canberra, Bra, the sun, Brahma, Satan, Saturn. Because Abraham is Saturn. Saturn is Satan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it always goes back to the sun and Saturn, the two twins, Horus and Seth, Jesus uh, and Satan. Uh -huh. Saturn, they, yeah? They're connected to Saturn as well. Yeah, and so, and, and so these are all generals, ministers, and officers. And See, you didn't uh, mention the doctor yet. The doctor, the DOC means uh, docking. Like mother delivered the baby in the... You, you can mention about this. It's quite important, as I think. Yes, well, the mother goes into the docks to the doctor to deliver a baby into the maritime uh, military hospital and the doctor's orders are that you shall deliver this and birth it in the canal the waters of your mother and you get a receipt from the from the port authorities of what you have on board and now this becomes a new vessel in the ship called a citizen yeah. on the ship Everything has to be on the boat, <laughs> on the ship. Yep. A relationship also, this is the kind of contract between marriage, as you mentioned. You didn't mention, but uh, previously when we lost this video, uh, you mentioned the contract between uh, the marriage, is, it's a contract, corporate co contract also. Yeah, well, marriage, ma, Mars, mm -hmm. goes back to and so it's a, a, a another certificate. It's a um, 
uh, <clears throat> a marriage. It's, a, it's, a, it's the, the foundational trust of joining the two names. You see, you, you make a trust now because now a woman and a man come together. They join these two names. Rome goes off and copyrights that name. And now you're using that trust and you're going to be the, um, the trustee of it. <laughs> and you're going to pay its debts <laughs> because we've received a little benefit that we uh, perhaps uh, should not have signed <laughs> up to. <laughs> you see, so three words you have to look out for is general, minister, and official. You see? So is, is a police... It... Sorry. Is a it... police officer. Mm -hmm. Police officer? Yeah. All officers are oh. owned by the corporation, by the Vatican. You look at the word official and officer. These are all ecclesiastical posts, ecclesiastical functions. You can't have a minister of finance if it's not an ecclesiastical... Um, uh, position. It's ecclesiastical. The names tell you. Yes. Uh, the, the finance, uh, finance, the money actually was always connected with the water. Even in a Feng Shui, uh, they know that the, the water rules money. The water, sim water yep. uh, symbol of Yes, yeah, so what we have here is we need to really uh, learn how to call on the name of the Savior. This will save you because it's living, yeah. this status. And this is eating of the tree of, the fruit, um, of, the tree of life. On my credit this, card, there is no name. There is only letter G from Gregory. It's only letter G, second letter, middle name, and the full surname, capital letters. Yeah. Does not sound great for me. <laughs> yeah, this is the. This is eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So, the day you eat from this tree you will positively die because you will take on a position of someone who, because this is sign language, symbolic script, this is descriptive and you assume this, you are dead. This is dead. This is the book of death. This is the book of life. This is the birth certificate. This is the live born record. Yes. And the birth certificate uh, is, is the, the value is quite important for all of us. Yeah. The value of, of this document is sometimes it values. Uh, it's, it's millions of US dollars. Well, if you put the numbers mm -hmm. with a space in the middle, on the back of your birth certificate, there will be about uh, probably seven, eight numbers. You put number, space, number, space, number, space, number, space in a website called fidelity.com mm -hmm. and you put your account number in there and you'll see all the stocks. You'll have billions. I've seen mine. There are billions of dollars yeah. on the stock market that my... Um, my numbers, these numbers are generating. Now, these numbers, this is the Sestwi KV trust. This, this trust, Sestwi KV, means it is you that is living. And this all caps name is that trust. Whereas this is a de jure trust. This is a de facto trust. And so through the QCIP numbers, they go to the treasury where this name is recorded. Mm -hmm. 
and we have a du jour national um, private account. It's a private account. This is a public account. Here you are under the rules of lawyers because you're in the employ of the corporation. You are assuming this name, you're joining it together and you're using it in usufruct. And so now you are going to be sharing in the benefits. Yeah, lawyers, liars, it's very similar, yeah? <laughs> Woe to you lawyers, for you obstruct the kingdom of the heavens to these children and you uh, bind them with heavy burdens which you yourself do not wish to bear. It would be better for you to have a millstone tied around your neck and cast yourselves into the sea than to stumble these little children. They are stumbling the little children with these people, young boys and girls who are lost at sea and throwing them into prison as stock, as property of the state. Because, see, Admiralty law looks after statute law on the ships. So if you're going to grab that ship, um, this one, and you think you're using Vatican law, lost at sea, at the high seas, well, you have to, you know, fulfill those, those codes and they will force you to, you will have to, because it's a contract. So because so you're in contract, yeah. Is sometimes uh, do you think or oh, what is your sentence about opinion about the these eight families who rules the, the world what you mentioned before Rothschild Rockefeller Farnese uh, they, they did they know this code in this world etymology of this world why, why they keep attention to this ship citizenship uh, everything uh, connected with this why why is this important do you think it's it's a just tradition occult what is it exactly for them? Is it kind of spelling? Spells? No, <laughs> no, it's, it's, this is natural. This is all language is, is not made by humans, uh, in, in a linear historical manner. We do add, hues and nuances and uh, um, uh, accents and um, intonations to our language, but we don't make it up. It's, <clears throat> this is atomic. This is how language works. This is sounds that are in nature. No one, no one makes these words up. You see, you, you only, you only, um, you only add rhythm and melody and po uh, po poetry. Like for instance, um, you look at the Portuguese that is spoken in Brazil. It's, it's, it's like they're singing it. Whereas in, in the on the mainland, it's spoken, but you go to Brazil and the Brazilians dance the Portuguese language. It's, <laughs> yes. not Okay, <clears throat> so it the language is um, elastic like that. It's 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 flexible. It it has room for variations, but no one made up the Portuguese language, and no one made up English. And yet, originally, we did make it up because all of language is sound and sound is atom all is atom atom yeah so and atom and atom is etymology atomology yeah for example in our language polish language is very connected to sanskrit 
uh, very ancient and uh, many words would start for example from letter o so you've got o the meaning 90 percent of 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 meaning of this word is like around around or around because the letter o is is round so the word uh, for example like in in my language garden or which is round uh, all right well uh, i'd like to share some um some slides with you okay so let's okay. do that okay uh share screen can you see that yeah you see the dog Oh yeah, that's my beautiful mocha. That's the cutest little. Um, <laughs> that's the cutest little diggy doggess in the world. Oh, She's nice. a little Scorpio, <laughs> Scorpio dog with a Gemini moon, and she's a spoodle cavoodle, and that's mocha. And I miss her. She's living in Melbourne. Uh huh. And and she loves me. She loves me so much. <laughs> she's cute. Yeah, she's my little girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I see. Okay, so what, what we have here is the three Sestwi KV trusts. The first one in 1455 is Romanus Pontifex. And this is um, the first testamentary deed in history. Um, uh, the first crown. It's a triple crown, okay? Uh -huh. This is the first trust in 1481. Attorney Regis, the second trust. This one takes your personal property. The first one is real property. The second trust of the Triple Crown controls your personal property. Then in 1537, the Jesuits and the Farnese family made convocation. Pope Paul III, this is the man who started. Um, who funded um, Copernicus and the Globe. He made convocation this trust. The Jesuits, he also made the Jesuits with Ignatius de Loyola. He funded Martin Luther, John Calvin. He excommunicated King Henry VIII. He started the, the Protestant Reformation, the Counter-Reformation, and he convened the Council of Trent, which is the Inquisition, the Farnese family. And this is the third one that takes away your soul and you will be lost at sea. Yeah. Okay. Here we have the city of London, Vatican, Canon Law City, and Washington District of Columbia. Columbia is Cologne. Cristobal Colon is the Colonna family, one of the richest and most powerful families in the history of this world, who have made many popes and cardinals and archbishops all around the world from the Colonna family, who were fighting with the Orsini family for hundreds of years until by papal bull, they were ordered to stop shedding blood in the streets of Rome and killing each other. And these became the Ghibellines and the Guelphs. And the Guelphs became the Windsors and the Rothschilds and the Rosenbergs. And they are the Orsinis. Wow. And the Colonna, the Colonna became the Ghibellines. And these are the, the, the Columbus family of the Knights of Columbus. And they also rule the world. And here is their district the military marshal district, their stranglehold. The three states control the world. Egyptian symbol of phallus. Yeah. Yes, and it is, it is, uh, it is the, the penis of Osiris coming out of the water. There is a watermark on every obelisk, and that watermark is the maritime sea level. So all... Everything that is under that level, which is all the land, uh -huh. becomes, becomes 
maritime law. So wherever that obelisk is, is the control of admiralty law. It means admiralty law is ruling in that, on that land. And it means, it means that everyone who is walking on that land is assumed to be a belligerent in the citizenship. Okay. Okay. Here is the Sestwi KV convocation system. Can you still see this? Yes, yes. I can see how. All right, so here we have uh, Romanus Pontifex in 1455. Attorney Regis, the Grand Crown of Aragon. You see, this is going to Spain now in 1481. This is the Barcelona, Catalonian, uh, Carlos. Huh? Yeah, the Carlos of uh, Catalonia in, in Spain, yeah, in Barcelona. Ah, good, good, good. <laughs> well, look at the year, 1481. That's only... 10 years before Columbus, Colon, uh -huh. the Colon family funded the ships to take over uh -huh, yeah. the Americas. I remember. Personal property. Huh? I remember, yes, yes, I remember that they founded the uh, finance the trip. Yeah. Okay, so, and convocation in 1537. This was a very, very sad year for humanity. The Farnese family absolutely have been bloodshedding ever since this day. The global agenda, um, Copernicus, they started teaching that the world is a spinning globe and moving, which was absolute utter stupidity because science have al has always known that the earth never moves. Santos, it cannot move. Yes, yeah, Santos, very important thing we didn't mention on first uh, interview. The why Jesuits connected with religion, they get over all the biggest astronomical uh, places in the world. Actually, they own uh, today uh, most of these astron astronomical um, uh, places in Nevada, in, in, in other continents, in other countries. Uh, so this, this is quite important for them. Yeah. Yes, because they want to control the globe that people think exists, which does not exist. They are controlling a fiction. Okay, so on the left here, we have the live birth record. This is the living side. Okay, this is the, the two uh, sides. You have the private side and you have the public side. Okay, the public side is on the right. This is the debt, the debtor side of the ledger. This is a ledger, okay, an accounting ledger book. On the left, you have the book of life. On the right, you have the book of death, the birth certificate. It's a death certificate. It's a title created by the state. On the left, you have a title created by life. It's a title and a deed. It's your life. A baby is born, endowed. On the right, cargo birthed, delivered. On the left, living, your mother autographs to establish that you are the holder of your estate in due course. On the right, the dead side, informant autographs as indictment that you have no paternal holder of your estate. On the left, the living, mother gives maiden name, which indicates a bastard later stillborn on the register. On the right, register signs your estate into probate and you become a ward of the state. On the left, you are given a lawful name. A lawful given name is privately recorded, traditionally, in a family name Bible. On the right, the dead side, name is corporatized. 
a legal trade name is publicly registered, combining your given and family names. You see, that's the trick. They combine your given Christian uh -huh. <laughs> and family name, and they are making a crown copyright property. On the left, your title, your given name, living. On the right, your dead corporate trade name. On the left, the living, you are rightful beneficiary of the trade name. On the right, on the dead side, you are unwitting trustee of the trade name. On the left, the living, format is handwritten in proper grammatical English. Later usage shows your title as unique. John of family name. On the right, format is either handwritten or typed and not necessarily all capitals, which is often later used to indicate the legal name. On the left, capitus diminutio minima, the lowest or least comprehensive degree of loss of status, rights of, li of liberty and citizenship unaltered black's law second edition on the right capitus diminution maxima the highest or most comprehensive loss of status changed from one of freedom to one of bondage black's law second edition on the left the dead side of the ledger the debtor side of the ledger a sovereign public Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> On the left, the, um, the living side, sovereign public trust. At the age of 18, you can become executor of your trust as a free man slash woman in your sovereign trust. As the holder in due course in a permanent trust, you can now at any time claim legal title to your estate property. On the dead right side of the ledger, you have a foreign situs trust. A trust is formed by splitting your estate, creating a legal title holder for the state and an equity title user for you. As it is a temporary, not permanent trust, you only have possession, use, not legal title of property. On the left living side, you are beneficiary of sovereign public trust. State is your public servant slash trustee with the fiduciary duty to protect, protect and serve you, the rightful beneficiary of your public trust. On the dead right side, state is beneficiary of foreign trust, uh, foreign situs trust. State is holder of your estate, all property, used as surety, surname, surety name, for IMF debt obligations, and is the beneficiary of the Citus Trust. On the left, dead side, you are born as holder of a state, creditor. Oh, sorry, I, I said that again. <laughs> On the left, the living side, born as holder of a state, creditor. On the right, birthed as user of a state, debtor. On the left, this record is used as evidence for a birth certificate that certifies a bond issue. On the right, this certificate is certification of a bond with the World Bank as settler of the trust. On the left, living includes your birth weight in ounces, used to calculate value in tables related to gold. On the right, dead side, the settled bond becomes a security that is traded on the market for your value. On the left, inhabitant, born on land with inherent jurisdiction and under common law of the land. On the right, foreigner, alien under commercial jurisdiction and later also Admiralty Maritime Law of the Sea. On the left, this document established your estate, which can then be stolen, but it is also your affidavit of life 
and proof of claim. On the right, this document converts your estate into a tradable property and puts you to work for the Foreign Citus Trust via the name. On the left, you have inherent right, inherent right to title. You are holder of your sovereign estate. On the right, title claimed by state, false presumptions, claim and contract. Okay, so this is what we see. We see how um, the system has uh, created a uh, de facto system piggybacking on a de jure system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do we got here? Well, the apostle Peter, he said, we ought to obey God rather than men. See God's law is in the Christian name, the law of the land, the constitution, that's God's law. The codes and regulations and ordinances and uh, regulations, etc., of Parliament, these are not constitutional. They are men's law. So it, we don't want to be governed mentally by governments. You yeah. see? Soren Kierkegaard said, if you name me, you negate me. By giving me a name, a label, you negate all other things I could possibly be. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you see, these are all the proofs that we have uh, an ecclesiastical system. The court is an oratory. That's the inquisition. The clerk is a cleric. The judge is an ordinary. An officer, officer of the church who by reason of office has ordinary power to execute the church's laws. A case is a confession, a hearing. Okay. Here, a hearing is a confession. <clears throat> a warrant is a seal of writ. A writ is a form of indulgence from the inquisition. A writ is a writus. It's a rite, it's a ritual, a prayer. A sentence is penitence, penance. Absolution is prison. The, this is, all these words, they're all from the Inquisition. A scribe and a notary writes indulgences. Scribo venere, vene is indulgence. Prosecutor, prosecutus. Standing in your skin, standing in for you, to cheat you, to turn you over, attorney. A bench is the bank. You see? A remittance note, a remittance before God of temporal punishment for sins. It is the instrument to, or ritual that balances out sin. See, this is how the system works. This is how the system works. Pay attention here. This is where you will understand. There's the triple crown, Rome, London, Washington, ecclesiastical, financial, military, the Vatican, London City Corporation, Washington DC Corporation, Vatican Corporation. Here we have the Pope, he's your big daddy. Here we have the Queen, she's your big mummy. Here we have the President, he's your big brother, Uncle Sam. Here, the Vicar of Christ. Here, the Defender of the Faith. Here, the Protector of Liberties, the Statue of Liberty. Not freedom, liberties. Thank you, Jordan Maxwell. Here, you have an ecclesiastical system, financial and the legal profession. Here, they run the military and the industrial complex and big pharma. And you can see the name Farnese in pharma, 
and you can see that's the connection and you can see the name medici in medici, yeah. medical big pharma okay here you have maritime law those that rule the, the ships of the sea admiralty those that rule the law the rules on the ships and here you have martial law which they now administer on the land because everyone is belligerent here you have the ministry of the faith saving people in the salvage business who are lost at sea s double e here you have the ministry of finance and those who are lost at sea in the maritime waters here you have the ministry of defense lost in action awol deserters defectors here they save souls heretics here they save property here they save people here they are the inquisitors here they are the pirates here they are the mercenaries here sinners and heretics goy gentiles renegades non compus mentis are saved by the inquisitors in the salvage business here the pirates they collect your debts in the bankruptcy because you are incompetent you can't do that so they'll settle the ledger here the mercenaries they will save the belligerent hostile wards of the state okay that's how the system works i'll leave this up for people to see who um all the history of these popes in the 1200s the dark ages that declared um all um knowledge to be shut down yeah books of learning to be burned Be this people, is worth re reading people sometimes don't uh, realize that uh, that it's a g global connection between the governments and the rules they agree uh with the planning uh, hundreds of years and for example i think a good idea is the electric cars when the hundred years ago uh, we could drive electric cars hundred years later we could drive for free uh, with free energy uh, unlimited uh, kilometers or miles but can you see uh, that hundred years they keep this secret because they prefer petrol and make a business for this so so there is a uh, involve every country in the world yeah it has to be because if if the china would start or india it would start to drive electric cars and everybody would change it it it, it won't happen yeah like this it's just everybody selling the same thing there is no big difference between washing machine microwave cars it's all the same it's only different labels yep i'm just putting these slides and leaving them here for people to read please, okay please. Mm -hmm. because this this is just a little bit of extra information i know some of this this in here is worthy of reading okay i i've i've noticed that a few slides are out of place there was one on chemtrails back there i don't know what that's doing in there but nevertheless please read these pause on them and read them okay so that's my um slideshow presentation there yeah. um there's mocha <laughs> very nice i have to show you like my dog <laughs> it's very similar it's the same almost same race yeah she's a doggess yeah. she's my dog like venus venus influencer <laughs> uh, yeah what do you think uh, sometimes the last sentence how you see the vaccination uh, problem now today with the corporate law do you think some connection um yes it is because it's the military you see people people think that they have to take the vaccinations because um they don't have to it's voluntary um they're not in the military they are civilians they need to explain i'm a civilian i'm I'm not part of this. I, I don't have to do follow those codes. 
uh, in Poland uh, government, uh, th this is the case a few weeks ago, what happened, uh, the, the parents didn't, uh, didn't want to be the baby vaccinated in the hospital. So the administrator of the hospital, as you mentioned before, Admiral called to the uh, uh, to the judge and uh, and they make a, I just I just take take uh, take off the the baby uh, of the parents so they lose the rights uh, to the baby now uh, because they didn't want to vaccinate even in the previous doctor says that is not recommended because there was some illnesses <clears throat> what baby had so you see how they treat the baby. And that's not only in Poland, it's everywhere in the world. They treat as a as a birth certificate, as a piece of paper, mm -hmm. not as a human living being. Yes, yes. See, this is why we need to um, we need to know who we are, you see. Um, this is my given name, so I, all I have to do is give that num name lawfully. Yes. This is my full. So, so the problem you had uh, in Australia, you had the problem because of, because of this name. You didn't want to give them your second name. So it's the surname. Um, well, well, that's a complicated story. It's, it's a bit, you know, it, it would require a lot to talk about uh, okay. it, it's, okay, it's, not simple. it's not a simple thing. Um, many, many people like myself mm -hmm. who try to nut this out and work it out in the due process, they get involved, some like myself, mm -hmm. in certain legal situations. And due to not knowing all of this intricate matrix and how it works, you can get into trouble and I've been in, I've um, gotten into a lot of trouble through not knowing all of this correctly. Okay. So see this sign language, this is debased English. This is dog Latin. This, this was made by just Justinian, the emperor 1500 years ago to um, enslave people through this cannon vessel and turn people into vessels, vassals, persons, parsons. A parson is a person who has a citizenship, a birth certificate. Parson is someone who looks after the property, property oh, yeah. of, the, yeah. of the church. So he is an official. This is why you have an official address with a postcode. That postcode tells them where your office is because you are an officer of the inquisition uh -huh. and so this here is that is that vessel this name and it works for them this is uh an official and um so any use of that copyright property you will um well if it's bad use, you will be paying. They will make you pay. So the most important is the, to raise the consciousness about this kind of uh, co yep. connection in, in words. And, and we, we, of course, the, nat the natural law is, is much stronger and, and longer. We had the, uh, since I don't remember from where uh, this, is, this is our, uh, human living uh, being law and then what they try to give us it's uh, like it's kind of game on on some level and what people don't know how to play that's why that's why they don't uh, yeah we have to we have to we have to teach uh, we have to learn uh, what is the um, which is what's the differences between driver and traveler this is a good example about uh, about this old story what you said now yeah, well, this is this is man. This is person. Oh, living dead. Yeah, the mask. Yeah. So, so my given name, my Christian name, and my family name were 
appropriated unlawfully, deceitfully, and they created an account which they administer in their bankruptcy receivership, and you are paying for it because you were conscripted into this military slash financial bankruptcy slash <laughs> yeah. sinner personhood. You see, because you you assume you assumed personhood, and God, we forgot, is not a respecter of persons. The Queen, neither. The Crown is not a respecter of persons. She doesn't respect this at all. She vaccinates, poisons, sends off to war. Off you go, Christians. Off you go to war. We will make the uniforms as we've done before. So these are the people that get those all caps dog Latin names on their tombstone because they are following the orders of the people who own that name. Yeah. So there's no free will actually when somebody is born. You can't, you can't take decision. Yeah. Uh, you just, That's right. This is, this is nothing like a uh, man who had 33 years, like Jesus uh, got Christ by the, by the John. Yeah. So the same people born, the baby born, and uh, you can't decide what religion to choose, what what law to choose. Yes, everything is. This uh, this is actually against the free will, which is quite important. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, I think it's a uh, quite long material. Uh, yes. It's a good 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 job to uh, for studying this, and and I hope. Uh, we can develop this uh, subject and, or similar subject uh, next time. All the best and uh, thank you, brother. Thank you too, brother. See you next time. See you next time, Santos. <laughs> thank you. Te krzyżak kary, panie, niech będzie kara. Ale Zbyszku zrody ostatni. Nie będzie jego, nie będzie nas. Pozwólcie, panie, ab, ab mi na swoją głowę za niego oddał. Sprawiedliwość to nie smok, który nie patrzy czyją krew chlepcze. Kto zawinił, tego kara dosięgnie. A krzyżacka sprawiedliwość, żmuć ostre miecz, rozboje. Mają przywileje. Bić w nich! Wam łupy pachną. Nie będziemy narażać Polski na konflikt z zakonem Najświętszej Marii Panny. Szlachetny Zbyszko z Bogdańca, skazan jest z wyroku sądu kasztelańskiego na ucięcie głowy mieczem! Stój! Stój! Nie do kata on należy, ale do mnie! Mój cion jest mój!
Zelenskému zařučila! To starý zbyčaj! Oddačko jej! Pokažte léno! Ogaňský kraj, ogaňské obyčaje. Pravda, są takie obyczaje, ale stosuje się więcej do podhalańskich zbójników i do prostego ludu. Pytajcie księdza Stanisława, on jest biegły w prawach obyczajach. Spytać by trzeba wielkiego mistrza, to w jego posła godzono. Ludowe obyczaje stają się prawem. Miłościwa pani, z rękowiny muszą być zaraz, jeśli mamy ów zwyczaj uszanować.